Welcome back guys to Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Alright, so in my off time I have gone ahead and cleared this stuff up, right, physically, all this stuff up. And there is this uh, hidden treasure here which has the Archangel, but right now it's too hard for me, our level is too low. So what we'll do is, uh, I want to go and finish this possession and while I was doing this, I also find, uh, stumbled upon a quest called Finders Keepers, right? So we'll go to this Swal Swalrag and finish finish the possession, right? Uh, I mean, uh, we'll just fast travel there. Uh, there are things in between, like I want to get this beer. Where is it? Yeah, so the beer school, I want to finish that. Uh, what I'll do is I'll finish this and while on our way back, we'll get this, right? All the other stuff I'll do it on offline, but like, yeah, this one and this one I'll, I'll complete basically, but let's finish this ones first. And once I have the beer school upgrades, then I want to make the beer, beer the beer school Witcher gear, right? All right. So, she come for a reason or just a visit? Let me go and see what's here. Uh -huh. You've come a long way. Yep. Mm. Ah! What became of Tamaria? Uh -huh. Let me see what's here. Anything? No. Let me see you have something. I know what I'm saying. Tight arse in keep water the wine. What brings it? Let me look at it. Uh doesn't seem like he has anything different. Alright, that's fine. Farewell. Farewell. Oh, watch that, Jocelyn. <sighs> uh, let me... I would like to go in the morning, so let me rest a bit. All right, nice, and let's a Kimara and a Kidna. Where is the Kidna? This one. Yep. All right. I could have married. Rodanian Harbor, nice. But I think uh, I think the guards will attack me if I do anything. Let me see what the merchant has. You of Clan Brockvar. Tree and blue, red and born. Think I found something might belong to you and your kin. Cargo from a longship that wrecked north of Ard Skellig. Ach, the Hemdel's wrath must be sealed out to raid the continent's coast. Must be a month now, never came back. Mm hmm. But listen, you happen across a sword among the wreckage, decorated, ornate, belonged to the captain. His kin would surely want it back. Yeah, I found it. Glad to give it back, provided the finder's fee is fair. Yep. Naturally, wouldn't have it any other way. Thanks. Hurry, and you might be able to recover the rest of the cargo. We'll do just that. I folk to round up, but thanks for bringing the news to us. Don't mention it. So long. Nice. What damn? Let me see what you got. Show me. Huh. We haven't gotten this yet. All right. 
Bow out. So long. Let me see. Not much. Aha, here. Damage tag, our warriors return. Request from Druids. The enemy external card Nils disappears. Nice. Wow. Just added more, huh? Just added more. I just finished all this. <laughs> alright, fine. It's alright. Uh, heroes comes from the groove. Alright. And then possession. Let me go and check what this one is here first. Heroes comes the group. Here comes the group. Not heroes. Here comes the group. Wonder if he's strong Yes, I am. Absolutely. Uh, let's just Uh-huh. Uh, let me see which side I need to go. I need to go from behind, right? Ah, uh, this is the position one, okay. I can go from here. Aha! Face of power. Nice. Medallion's humming. Face of power. It's got to be. Igni. Nice. Let me see. I have one point available, so I'll put it in the strong attack, right, resolve, uh, I don't want to slow down the time, but yeah, let's put it in this one, okay, now this one is open, so what would I like next, precise flow, uh, crushing blows, fluid footed, cold blood, undying. Undying is okay. I guess precise blow, increased chance of landing a fast attack critical hit by 2% and fast attack critical hit damage by 15%. So I guess, yeah, better to do this one, right? Alright, let's go back. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Let me see what which one I want to do next. So, I, not the ugly baby. Let's see this one. The here comes the groom. That's it, Roach. Watch your step. <laughs> Stay long. Could you tell a toad from a dog? <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, come on, move, buddy, move. Aha! See you not from round here. What's brought ye to speaker, Rog? Did you notice? Heard you've got a job for a witcher. Aye. My sister's near drilled a hole in me, got pestering me. 
I hung the notice hoping she'd let up. Truth be told, didn't really expect anyone to take an interest. What's this about? My sister's betrothed. He's disappeared. Folks say he done a runner. Sis claims she saw a beast carry him off. Uh-huh. Sensing you just don't believe your sister. They had their ups, they had their downs. Nils, thoroughbred skirt chaser. And uh -huh. Brits just not easy to be around. But family's sacred. You willing to look into this? Yep. Let me see the reward. Finding Nils won't be easy. Reward you posted's not enough. Bring him home and I'll spare no coin. Alright. to hear something specific. A sum. First, you gotta tell me something specific. What happened to Nils? Uh, let's put 50 directly. Well, now, dunno. Would you consider dropping it a bit? Then we do 40. Agreed. Alright. Fine, I'll take the job. I'll see what I can do. Wanna talk to your sister first off. Britt and Nils had their favorite spot. Cliffs north of the village. Ever since he went missing, she's been wandering about there. Alright. I'll go see her. So she's here. Uh, let's do this one first. Possession. Uh, I mean, let's see where this one goes, right? Oof, step aside. What's that? Welcome to the home of Jarl Udelrek of the Honorable Clan Brockfar. Greetings. Wanted to see the Jarl. Enter. Jarl's still speaking to his seer, but they should finish soon. One thing. Watch where you step. How come? Jarl's not too fond of light. Makes it easy to trip. Really? Huh? Jarl must have dreamt as strong as he looks. We'll be done in a moment. And then, a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Jarl. No, they demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. Nowhere, sir. What happened to him? I say something wrong. You must forgive the Earl. Hasn't been feeling well of late. Is he sick? He didn't seem quite right during Croc's feast, but... Ah! Forgive what? me. I must go to him. Where's Ceres? I've got to find her. Uh, I don't know. Ask around. Great. <laughs> Remember all right. that storm caught us in Old Bay? I like it where yesterday. Old Drake. Fell overboard a near drive. Let me see what else here. Mug. Oh, glowing off. Nice. 
not sure where it's gonna come in handy, but all right, let's go and find. Clumsy sot. Let's go and find uh, Ceres. All right, here. Greetings. Ha! Nary a soul for months. Then one day, guests from afar start dropping like rain in springtime. You weary traveler, hungry. Looking for a young woman named Zeus. Looking for Ceres, Jarl on Crate's daughter. Ah, you found her, or near to. Glass was just here. Know where she might have gone? Took an interest in our Jarl. Asked about his childhood. So I told her to see Big Thora and Eirik. Who are Big Thora and Eirik? Big Thora and Eirik. Years ago, Eirik was close with the old Jarl. Was the Jarl that helped him win Big Thora's hand? They live toward the east end of the village. Take care. Take care. Bless you. And my blessings to Sarah when you see her. Now here's a manly one. Not like my good for nothing sweat. Whoa, what a sword. Sorry to interrupt. You need something? Come, let's have a pint of that shot. Looking for Ceres? Thanks, but I'm short on time. Looking for a girl named Ceres. Crack on Crate's daughter. She was here, but I've not seen her away. Take care. Take care. All right. But can you toss an axe? Me brother can. Handle what? Greetings. I'm looking for someone. <laughs> Lucky chap you are then. Truth be told, I'm taken. But village is brimming with uh -huh. lovely girls. I'm looking for Ceres. The skinny thing. Lovely doe eyes, true, and she's from an honorable house. But the lass is gold as a sapling. <laughs> I don't know where she is, and her father... Ugh, tell Crack to calm down. No Skellige lass can perish in her own isles. All right, she was here a few hours. Went to find me man, Ira. Needed to talk, she said. They should be on the beach, to other side of the aisle. Thanks. Take care. All right. Good luck searching. Oh, what a sword. Uh... So she's there. So let's go and finish this. Talk to her. Here comes the groom. passing over the sky. Then I heard him scream. Something grabbed him, lifted him up, then flew off towards the caves on the shore. But he was alive, screaming my name. I'll look into it. All right. I'll explore those caves Britt mentioned. Okay, so here, right? Okay. Cool. So let's go and talk to... Uh, but first, let's, since we are here, let's go and finish the Champion of Champions. Let's go! Yeah, once you come to the island, you just gotta round things up, you know. Who knows when we'll be come back. Here comes the Champion of Champions. <coughs> Butcher. 
You here to fight for the title of champion? Mm. Uh huh. I'm afraid you'll have to wait. Arena's closed on account of a certain uh, incident. An incident to be examined, conclusions to be drawn, so it don't happen again. All right. Master of the arena. All right. Let's go talk to them. Or cast leaden balls into them. What good would leaden balls be? There's a wraith, not some devil. So what do we do there? Go to the druids? Druids aren't any good with wraiths. Oh, suppose you're better. Shut your gob. He's better than any. That's a witcher there. Listen, it's our arena. We got a wraith that haunts it. Damned if we know how to drive it off. Do you think you could manage? What exactly is the matter? This wraith. I can probably manage it. Need the details. What do you want to know? What kind of wraith are we talking about? Know anything about this specter? When did it first appear? The granddad told me his granddad said the wraith was called Ula the Unlucky. Lost every bout he entered, yet always recovered from his wounds. Ula weren't even able to die like a man. Till one day, Jarl Thormar called a tournament in the arena. In those days, they drew lots to choose their foes, and the Jarl drew Ula, the unlucky. Jarl was cocksure he'd win, so he mocked Ula, ridiculed him till all in the stands were crying with laughter. <laughs> Finally, he raised his arms in triumph, and that's when Ula, who couldn't take it no more, stuck a dagger in his back. As he died, Thorma cursed Ula. May you lose again and again for centuries on end. That's what he said. Ever since, Ula's haunted the arena, looking for a fight and getting a few. Mean there have been those who've tried to defeat him? You kidding? Everyone's beaten him. The bugger keeps coming back, though. Can't uh, organize I no see. normal fights precisely because of that. So I guess I just gotta let him be in right? this. It's an arena, like any other. The custom was for the best warriors to clash here. Speaker of bouts were famous all across Skellige. Then one day a wraith showed up. How did you know? Told you. He's a witcher. A cunning man. He knows these things. Huh. I'll take the job. Alright. Could try my hand at driving away this spectre. Not for free though. Get it done, and we'll pay you the champion's purse and the premium from our earnings to come. Once the fighting begins, after the curse is lifted. Oh, All right. Sure, you're not getting carried away there. A little lie, but fuck it. Witcher gets rid of the rate. He'll deserve a premium from the earnings. He will. So be it. One time only, though. Sounds reasonable. Wait for me here. Shouldn't be too long. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. Come to face the ghost of the arena. Don't be shy. I'll defeat Ula the Unlucky. Just spare me your jabber. Your cries of die, wraith, and I shall defeat you, specter of the arena. I've heard them all a thousand times. Dreadful sick of them. Aha. Uh -huh. You seem bored. You're no typical wraith. Why not? Because I don't shriek threats and warn you of your death. Well, that's simple enough. Plain bored of that. Besides, I know how it'll be. You'll spit out some insults, pierce me with your sword, and I'll then disappear, only to be back here again in a few days. I see. And it'll be so with those who come after you. Such is my fate. I'm to tarry here till the world's end, losing every fate along the way. But you've not come to chat. Draw it, swing it, get to work, and defeat the ghost of the arena. All right. Draw your weapon. Draw your weapon. 
Drawing, drawing. But make it quick. And not too much drama if you don't mind. Alright. Come on. Defeat me. Alright. Whoa. I defeated you. Seems so. Congratulations. But what happened? I was to lose till the end of time. What's that? I hear. I hear laughter and joyous cries. The clanking of chalices and a and a voice. Summoning me to the feast of heroes. You, you let me win. You freed me. Thank you. The gods be with you. Uh huh. Nice. Farewell, ghost. All right. Greetings. Ghost shouldn't pester you anymore. Drinking meat with his ancestors by now. Ah, uh, knew you'd manage it. Well, Gunnar, be winning. Here. You bet on it? Should have seen it. I said you'd pull it off. Gunnar said there weren't a chance. That's why he's got that sheep's arse frown now. See that frown often when it's time for me to get paid. You needn't fret. We're honorable folk here. This is for you. And remember, you get a cut of the earnings once we get the arena up and running again. I'll remember that. So long. All right. Here to fight. Friends, we show heart. Hey there. Oh, the mutant, eh? Don't make a face. It's good you are one. Ordinary bloke never stand a chance against the champion of champions. You have come to challenge him, haven't you? Yep. Anything I should know about my opponent? Had to fight a bear earlier. Bit surprised. Go <laughs> with him. He'll lead you where you need to go. All right. Behold, the champion of champions. Ah. A rock troll. A very well developed rock troll. This supposed to be a fist fight? Aye, fists. All right. Uh, of course, we provide a dignified funeral, <laughs> observing the rituals of the Challenger's Creed. Let's go. I want to fight the champion of champions. What do they call ye? Geralt of Rivia. I'm ready to fight. Geralt of Rivia, time to begin. All right. Let's see how this goes.
nerve. Yes, I fight cool. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Geralt of Rivia, you've defeated the champion of champions in fair combat, earned the right to bear the title yourself. This very eve, I'll send word to the four corners of the world. The title is yours, as is the champion's prize. Alright. Brawl Master. You tend to, s to collect your... Later, right? The Tamer, alright? Diagram. Uh, let's rest a bit. So that way we can come back here and collect it, right? How long do I need to rest? Oh, Alright, I think I still need to do more. Let's rest more. Three days, four days, how much do I need to rest? No? No? More? No? I guess I still need to do more. Let's just meditate for a while. No? Still no? All right, let's just come back later. It's fine. Uh, so this one is fine. We will eventually go here. So let's go and finish the possession. Right. Let's do the Akidna, Akimara, and do the Necrophage. Nice. 
swimming like girls around the way, safe. Bye, be sure we showed them. Uh huh. Me? Seem to remember you sitting on that rock crying for help. Ha. <laughs> ah, but if not for me warning, you'd be herring bed about now. Thanks for your help. Did it once, maybe you can do it again. Well, I'll have to think about it. Busy the day me fishing got nets to mend. No time to fight monsters. Uh huh. It's not drowners this time. It's Ceres. I'm looking for her. Aye, fine looking girl. Can tell right away she's from a good clan. Left her sitting right here when I sailed out to bring in the morning catch. Any idea why she came here? She say what she was after, or just admire the scenery. Just about our Jarl and his family. Where did she go? She say where she was headed. Uh, wouldn't tell a stranger, but we did risk our hides together. Went to Odeldrick's old family home, yonder on the hill. All right. Thanks. See ya. Thanks. Farewell. So I guess we go back that place. Yeah. Let's go from here. Whoa there, Roach. Whoa, Roach. Come on, Roach. Okay, fine. Aha. Uh -huh. Let me look around a bit. to sell it. Until I help Ulrich. The sword. Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back. You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to. You have to tell me what's going on. Why'd you go into the house? Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Ulrich. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have if I'd only found the sword. So what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar, the ancestral sword of Udalric's clan. I need it to lift the curse that holds Udalric. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udalric and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udalric. But his father gave Brockvar to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udalric to break a sacred law here in Skelligan. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udalric to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Wow. 
Something happened on the trip. Got a feeling this trip didn't end happily. Your feelings right. There was an accident. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udelric had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. What do you think? Did Udelric kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day, well, it's affecting Udelric right now. Uh -huh. Perfectly so. And it could have something to do with that sword. What do you want this sword for? What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udelric's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. I see. Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. I don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. I think not. It's not the gods. It's Aki. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge because Udelric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we have to give Brokvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udlerik alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udlerik both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Yep. Thanks. So I can go see Udalric? No chance. Your weak might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together. Yep. Alright, I think we need to go into the cellar. Whoa. Sorry. on the lights buddy whoa what is this about um Let's go. I found it. Let's go. After you then. Oh, we are going. I thought it would be you a cutscene. You and my dad. You were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something. Or <laughs> someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. That you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. What do you say, waiting? Where's Yennefer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing, not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, 
There they are. Horridly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. Couldn't help overhearing your conversation. No worries. It's no secret. All in the Isles know Jarl Udelrich hears the voices of the gods. These voices you hear. The gods. Their voices. They aren't the gods. More likely this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We conclude that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Don't be afraid. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's Needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's return to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods, they'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you, and they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. All right. I'm off. Then we gotta drag their corpses out of the inn. Yeah. That caught a turn. Uh. Well. I see here, right? So let's. Oh, this one is already opened up. So let's go here and then here. This is on the way. That's all. Ah, oh, no, here. Ah, uh, both had the same, same time.
that guy should be here as well. Somewhere. Aha. Uh, since we are here, let's go here and then here. Alright. That should be fine. And we can work. complete this. is faster right Man and his hound wants to fight in the cursed arena. My cut of the proceeds must have grown sizable. And how? Here. Always a pleasure doing business in Skellige. Yep. Come again, eh? Great things are about to happen here. Mark my words. I hope they do. Good luck. Twenty. That's my cut. Come on, man. Uh, let's take a fast travel. him to poke out his eye. Whoa. What? Why'd you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. Whoa. 
When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. What did the gods want, exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, you vile wretch. You didn't help Aki, and now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. Have you ever seen them? Do the gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. The gods don't like the, the light. gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams, at times I see their form when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering? Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. We need to talk. Whoa. I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Whoa. Well? Know what it is? It's a Heim. A post-conjunction creature, very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work, in theory. You can try to trick it. They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible, then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. What's this other way? Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but... I wager you slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the high mount. It has to emerge from the shadows and show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udelric. It won't be an easy fight. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Udelric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udelric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udelric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udelric, the stronger it'll grow. Uh -huh. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Hmm. And what about the other method? It's very hard to trick the Heim. The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe <laughs> they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, 
We can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. <laughs> we Where'd that to come from? Anything, we can always try the Witcher's way. What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Uh huh. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight, or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. Guess you're right. What can I say? So, shall we try trekking it first? Yeah, let's. Good decision. Haunted house, the Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. Uh, let's go now. Yeah. No reason to delay. Discourage me. Good means you're scared. Somebody could break their leg or their neck. Uh, to jump from here, right? Yeah, I don't need to jump. Come up with anything? Yes. I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply gotta trust me. I trust you. Hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So, can we start? Mm, let's start, yeah. I'm Bye. Ready. All right, I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven. Over there! She's running to the old house! Grab her! Take him. You must put him in the oven. Trust me. What? I care not to hurt the child. Give me the bait. In the oven. Throw him in the oven. Uh, let's trust her.
What about those soldiers? They just ah, he just killed. The Witcher committed no crime. You'll find neither despair nor guilt here. Only shock and relief. You've been tricked. It's over. Over? We tricked the Heim. It thought I'd killed your child, abandoned you to haunt me, feed on my conscience. But when it saw the babe was whole, unharmed, it had to go. You're free, Jarl. Free? The Heim's gone. So are the voices that tortured you. Let's get out of here. Ooh. What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Geralt, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Key is to not give in to self-pity. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. I'll go with him. He seems confused. What will you do? Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on Speaker Rock? Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. Thought we already discussed that. We did. Farewell, Witcher. Favorable winds and following seas to you. To you uh -huh. too. So long. So long. Ooh. Finally. Nice. Crystallized essence. Alright, tell you guys what, I'll leave it here and in the next one I think we still gotta go finish this one and then here comes the groom, right? We gotta finish this one, right? So I'll see you guys in that. In the next episode. Okay? Bye-bye.